Pella is each child long. Tell my dog. My sister, my everything. How are you guys? How are you folks in all parts of the world? My name is Yamachal Commander Pelop Simanda. Today I'm not here to spend a long time. I'm here just for a short, 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 short live broadcast. Right today, guys, um, you know what? Um, I'm going to get a lot of sticks from a lot of people, but let me be honest with you. I love it. That's a challenge. That's what I love to have a challenge and enjoy with a lot of friends. I love it because it's part of our job to get a lot of sticks. But today, the topic is not a, a massive topic. We just want to hear those people who have got the knowledge of Joshua Nkomo, Ubaba Unyongoro. You know what? Um, Joshua Nkomo, um, we were young, I was young when Joshua Nkomo was doing wonders in Zimbabwe. But uh, you know what? Um, some few weeks ago, you know, um, I put an image of another politician in Zimbabwe. Just comparing to Joshua Nkomo, I got some sticks. Oh, you know what? I, if it wasn't Philip Sibanda, I'm telling you that person was going to even get some, um, some death threats. Because the way the guy is somewhere sending me some email matches, messages on uh, my my inbox and saying, Philip, we respect you, but uh, the comparison of what you have done to Joshua Nkomo and um, towards, you know what? So I want to ask genuine Zimbabweans, who was Joshua Nkomo? What type of a person was he? And let's just say if Joshua Nkomo was given a chance um, to be the, uh, the president of Zimbabwe. What sort of Zimbabwe was he going to uh, make? Uh, what sort of a country was Zimbabwe going to be? Because the way people speak about Joshua Nkomo, I'm telling you, why did I bring Joshua Nkomo today is because I think it's gone over 20 years since he died. So I decided myself to bring Joshua Nkomo because I haven't seen anyone except the people just talking on social media. I haven't seen people even going to Joshua Nkomo's family to go and say, why today is the day we are remembering. But it has got nothing to do. I mean, let's not uh, 
to put pressure on other people. Let's talk on our own. Who was Joshua Ngomo? What sort of a person was he? Educate us, Tinabantuana. See, Pundisani, Uba Nakatiana, Uba Uchoshua Ngomo, where we want to onjan. That's why I wish that there was, I wish there was a museum in Zimbabwe where can, whereby we can learn things like this. Is it just in general, um, you know, our leaders have a job about Joshua Ngomo? Is it just in general, Kukura Wundi? Is it just in general, MPS Zimbabwe? We should have, you know, have the knowledge of what happened. Because me as a young boy growing up, um, I would love to know what sort of a, a person was he was Joshua Ngomo. Katiana Uba Joshua Ngomo Munjani. Baba Joshua Ngomo, no one's over and was what you got I the father Zimbabwe. Everybody about the father Zimbabwe. So why did Joshua Ngomo uh, not uh, rule Zimbabwe? What happened? What made uh, Robert Mugabe to um, to take over? Um, or me to, I don't know, not take over. You won the election anyway. But how come, um, you know, because when I was reading a lot, even when, I, you know what, um, now he, if was given a chance, there will be no division that we explain. Thank you very much, Mbongeni. So you are the first one to write a comment here, guys. I'm not staying here long. I'm not making this topic more than 30 minutes. Um, if people want to contribute, let's contribute now for the next 30 minutes. I am hearing a lot of things about Ubaba U Joshua Nkomo. I would love to interview the children of Joshua Nkomo. I would love to interview the, the children, maybe of Zapu, um, you know, former children of Zapu, so that they can tell us how Joshua Nkomo was. Now come a message, I am getting it shows that people knew. You know what? I enjoy when I see a lot of people commenting about our topic. But those who don't want to comment, you can stay home. You are talking about a legend. You are talking about Father Zimbabwe today. So today I give you the chance. If you want to come in for five minutes to come and tell us how Joshua Nkomo was, uh, come in. Who was this father Zimbabwe? You know, me, I was a young boy. But whenever everyone, well, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter whether you're coming from Chikombezi, whether you're coming from Tirete, whether you're coming from uh, Sabe, whether you're coming from Emakumene, whether you're coming from Filabos, whether you're coming from Enkai, everywhere. When I talk about Ujoshua Nkomo, Uezaban University Philip, that man was a father, father Zimbabwe. I saw a message from the president of Zimbabwe today, a fantastic message coming from the president of Zimbabwe today, Mr. Emerson Munangakwa. Um, you know why, uh, saying, um, you know what a leader Joshua Ngomu was. Then later on, I saw a message coming from a young man, Nelson Chavisa, as well, saying father Zimbabwe. But me and Nelson Chavisa, I think we are a bit younger to know more, unless it's probably if we have read the books about Joshua Ngomu. Who was this Joshua Ngomu? I want to hear from you guys. Right, there is some comment. Joshua Nkomo was the father of the nation. Just that most people about because of the tribe. Guys, the number of people who are watching this program is unbelievable. Never mind me, I have got the number, the uh, actual number of people watching. So to see two comments or three comments, I, I want to say now, I would rather not even attempt to talk about a program when people, they don't want to uh, to contribute in such an important, such important topic. Father Zimbabwe, Baba Joshua Nkomo, Bonga Bantu Bakuluma Ngaye, Bonga Bantu Bakuluma Baba Joshua Nkomo. Well, sorry, let me reduce the volume here. I'm listening to myself. Bonga Bantu Bakuluma Baba Joshua Nkomo, but why are Baba Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe. Why Baba City Baba Zimbabwe? I want to know as a kid growing up, what it can't want to talk about Baba Zimbabwe. Why Baba Mbisa Baba Zimbabwe? Because I have never, I haven't heard, even wherever you go, wherever you go, I never, I've heard people calling Nelson Mandela in South Africa in names. I've heard people calling Aman Uropa Dimkabe names. But I haven't heard any Zimbabwean talking about Joshua Nkomo bad. Hey, 
angwazi madoda le angizoze ngeke lokuba lama comments abantu because abantu bale freedom of expression so i cannot avoid the people's comments as long as they are not insulting so guys i saw a comment from uh, from uh, emerson munangakwa today uh, so that i can i cannot pronounce the actual name but uh, emerson munangakwa is our president of the country um you know what? I saw a lovely message coming from the president of the country. Um, you know what? Talking about Joshua Nkomo. Fantastic message. I could have loved to talk to uh, Emerson Munangakwa today because the way he spoke about Joshua Nkomo was something else. I saw a message from my young boy, um, Nelson Chamisa, talking about um, Joshua Nkomo today. A massive, massive. I saw some other, you know, leaders talking about Joshua Nkomo. So, can I ask you people, who was this father Zimbabwe? Who was so who was this father Zimbabwe? Who was this father Zimbabwe? Gentlemen, if you don't want to contribute about this, I will end the topic. I, I mean, I will end the topic. I'll just give you a teaser. I'll just put it in your mouth and take it out. If you don't want to contribute. I'm not going to force people to come and talk and talk. This topic, I think, is very important. Important. It's very important. Why is it so important? It's important for our children. It's important for our grandchildren. This topic will live in our lives for a long, long, long time. So, who was this father Zimbabwe? But my question is, what happened? To Joshua Wangomo. Why did he rule the country? Why did he? Because you know what? We had the lead, we had our president, uh, Mr. Robert Mugabe. But you know what? The amount of people talk about Joshua Wangomo, I, you know, comparing to Umkabe is unbelievable. So why Ubaba Umkabe and a Kunuwa Yendela or Kunuwa Joshua Wangomo? You know, me, I was young. I don't want to lie to you. I was young. I was young. I was very, very young. I mean, when um, I was very young, I don't want to lie to you. I don't know much about you, Joshua Nkomo. I don't want to lie. I don't want to claim lies. I don't know much about you, Joshua Nkomo. I was a kid by the time. But my mothers, our mothers, our fathers, they tell us about Philip. That man was unbelievable. I read a book about Joshua Nkomo. You know what? Um, I read about what happened to him. You know, the things happened to Joshua Nkomo were unbelievable. But for those who have got the knowledge of Joshua Nkomo, I would love to hear from you. Who was this man everyone talks about? Even, you know, the people born in the 90s. People born, I think he, was, he died in 1999. You see, but the people died. In, I mean, people born in nineties. They talk about Joshua Wong and say, "Father Zimbabwe, Father Zimbabwe," but they never saw him. So why? Why is it people they talk so 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 well about Joshua Wong? What? What good? What good did he bring to people? What? What happened? And. Um, uh, for him not uh, to be the leader of Zimbabwe. What happened? Because I was, you know, I I did a research before I did this. I saw the president uh, Mugabe when he, you know, when when Zapu was fighting Zanu PF. Is it Zanu P Zapu P fighting Zanu PF? Mugabe was boiling, saying we are going to kill him. And then I think Joshua Nkomo he ran away. He went to uh, Britain. He was fearing for his life. There was a story I read that um, he ran away wearing a dress. You know, I mean, those are the things we want to hear. You know what? You know, it's nice, good memories. And then um, when I read about those things, when I read about those things, I would love to hear to those people who managed um, to see Joshua Nkomo, the people who managed to either who went to uh, in the army, you know, in the army, Joshua Nkomo, or because, guys, the amount of things I read about Joshua Nkomo when I was doing a research, unbelievable, unbelievable, 
unbelievable. There was another one which I listened to <laughs> when he was talking. Um, oh my goodness. You know what, guys? Um, there is another one. I heard him talking. Um, uh, Joshua Nkomo himself. He was saying, if I can find it, this one here. Let me see if I can find this one here. This is what I heard from him. Listen to this. Listen to this. It's free and independent. The priority is now nation building, social and economic progress. We cannot move forward if we are divided. We have to work as a nation together. Zimbabwe has people of various colors, but they are one. They speak different languages, but they are one. They have different backgrounds, but they are one. Once we all understand that, once we give our best to our country, Zimbabwe is a wonderful country. We have resources. We have natural resources. We have human resources, as are not known in many countries. And therefore, it is us, the people of Zimbabwe, who should come together and see that Zimbabwe progresses. The most important thing in that progress is to see that there is peace and tranquility. Peace and tranquility. The observance of the rule of law. The return to our people that peace that they require for developing their country. To be able to do so, our law enforcing agencies must be free. The army and the police must not be interfered with. They have their powers given them by the constitution of the country. No government must try and interfere with those powers. It is not necessary, therefore, to have the police answer answerable to political parties. That was um, the late Joshua Nkomo. That was a fantastic speech by the late Joshua Nkomo. When I listened to this message, that's when I decided to bring such a topic. You know, um, I when I listen to this man, I ask myself, what happened to Zimbabwe? What really happened to Zimbabwe? When I listen to him, There's another one here. Colors, but they are one. They speak different languages, but they are one. They have different backgrounds, but they are one. Once we all understand that, once we give our best to our country, Zimbabwe is a wonderful country. We have resources. We have natural resources. We have human resources, as are not known in many countries. And therefore, it is us, the people of Zimbabwe, who should come together and see that Zimbabwe progresses. The most important thing in that progress is to see that there is peace and tranquility. Peace and tranquility. The observance of the rule of law, the return to our people, that peace that they require for developing their country. To be able to do so, our law enforcing agencies must be free. The army and the police must not be interfered with. They have their powers given them by the constitution of the country. No government must try and interfere with those powers. The army has its job to safeguard the security of the country, especially 
along the borders. The police have their job to see that there is peace and tranquility among the citizens of Zimbabwe. It is not necessary, therefore, it is not necessary, therefore, to have the police answerable to political parties. If the police have been, and the army have been interfered with to, to this day, as we, as Zapu, are such a... Guys, you know, um, for those who managed to watch Joshua Ngomo speaking, when you listen to such words, when you listen to such words, Joshua Ngomo speaking, imagine when this man was uh, given chance to, to be the leader of Zimbabwe. I've got another one here. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. Um, this one is not playing. Just give me a chance. If Joshua Ngomo was given a chance to be the leader of Zimbabwe, do you think Zimbabwe could have been where it is right now? Sorry, guys, don't take this... Um, um, politically or whatever. We are just talking about the history of Joshua Nko. You know, when I listen to him saying that our forces must stay away from politics, they must protect the citizens. Our army, you know, is not a salvation army. It's not a salvation army. It's the drums and That was Joshua Ngomo there. He is talking about the army. The army should support the people, not protect the people. Let's go back. If no one wants to come in, I will end the broadcast, no problem. But one thing I don't want to hear people saying next time, Joshua Ngomo, I want to hear from you all. Who was this man called Baba Zimbabwe, Father Zimbabwe? Linzisa Obushung, Shobazam, Munoni Razas Guru, Kuti Shua Shua. You know what? If I bring someone naked, a woman naked here, yeah, you will all comment, you put some comments. But when I talk about someone who could have changed your lives, you ignore, never mind. I'm trying to look for another one. I'm trying to look for another one. When he was talking about... There's another one here. There's another one here. Joshua Nkom. Just one second here. I wanted to come and do a live broadcast about Joshua Nkomo's life. 
but it looks like no one wants to in, in, to, to to get involved. And um, I feel so emotional when I talk about Joshua and Komo on my own. When people say they want us to talk about who was this Joshua and Komo, and um, it pains me a lot. My brothers, who fought the struggle to bring independence in Zimbabwe. I spoke to some few guys who went to fight the war in Zimbabwe to bring independence. And um, when I said I was bringing this topic, they were all, Philip, what a fantastic topic. I don't do a topic with five people. I don't do a topic with five people. Joshua Nkomo, as I read about him, I expect people to concentrate and talk about Joshua Nkomo. It's a very sensitive uh, topic, touching topic. I expect people to come in and talk. Who was this Joshua Nkomo? We want our grandchildren to know this video will stay. Even if I leave this world, this video will be on social media. This video will be there, recorded there. So he wanted to hear people who knows about who Joshua Nkomo was. People who grew up in Zimbabwe. People who can tell us the struggle of Zimbabwe from the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, until now. When I read about Joshua Nkomo, Joshua Nkomo was against a lot of things. To Mugabe. Joshua Nkomo, when I read about Joshua Nkomo, he wasn't happy with the way the land issue was distributed by Robert Mugabe. He wanted land. To go to the people, but he wanted the land to be distributed equally. That's what I read about him. He wanted land to be distributed to Zimbabweans equally. I read the story where Joshua Nkomo was saying, Musaroba, in Shona, you must stop this thing of saying, Pasinaningi, Pasinaningi. I think I can find it. I was reading on his book. Let me try, try and get it. Let me try and find it. It pains me a lot. So who was he? I can see some comments. No comments to uh, comment today. My brother, really, I don't know, Mr. Gom. Opportunity, opportunity lost. Oh, I'm an opportunist is lost. Yeah, he wanted a land to be distributed fair and equal. Yes, I read about that. Put him to this. I read about he wanted. Hello, Chatenda. How are you, Sunny? I read, you know, that. He never called any tribe. He said the people of Zimbabwe were Zimbabweans. The tribes, because if you talk of Shona and the Beth, these are not tribes. These are collection of tribes. They speak different languages. The variation of the languages, but it is not correct to say Shona and the Beth are two tribes. 
is there a danger that the divide, whether it's tribal or political or otherwise, in this election could have the seeds in it of a sort of, 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 of even a fighting between you and the rest of the country? No, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think that there would be fighting. And if there's a fighting, it would not be based on tribe or any... Uh, any divide of that kind. It appears, one would say this uh, in, in the face of it, but I do not think so. You have got to consider that our party, Zapo, which is patriotic front now, is not a tribal party. 90% of the members of the executive are what you call Bishona, a group of tribes under this terminology. So I don't think it is correct that, that one would say the, the, the consideration was of tribe. Uh, considering the, the, the setup of the executive. Are you still very bitter at the campaign that Mr. Mugabe waged? I never was bitter. That's one thing I don't have. Why you, do you think so? You appear at one stage, a number of stages, to be referring to him as Idi Amin. I know you didn't mention him by name, but you did mention that Idi Amin was campaigning in Rhodesia. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say Idi Amin was campaigning. I said if there are people who compel you, by force, who want to, mm -hmm. to, to, to get votes out of you by, by compulsion, then you must be careful that you do not elect an idiot. Who are you referring to? I refer to people who did. It, it was not just Mr. one person. I, I'm not going to say this. It was not just one person. It was not just one party. There were two or, or so parties that were doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever you felt at the time, mm -hmm. what do you feel about Mr. Gabi now? Will you join his government? Well, that depends on our, on, on our negotiation. We're going to talk about this. But would you like to? Well, it's not a question of like. He'd like you to. Well, I don't, he think, said so. I don't think it's just like it. It's the consideration of the importance of that arrangement in as far as the, 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 the national affairs are concerned. So it's not a question of liking to, it's a question as to whether it would be to the national interest. If he asked you to be president of the New Zimbabwe, would you accept? Why not? Uh, uh, a constitutional president really is an inactive job, very inactive. But I, 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 I'm not the type of this person who would sit there for just this constitutional figurehead. You know, that's the type of thing. I think. So it's got to be a ministerial job? I, I suppose so, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, we we're going to discuss it. Finally, what sort of change would you particularly like to see in this country as soon as possible? Well, the most important change in this country is that of our people recognizing themselves as one. Uh, what I mean is this. We have been divided into racial groups, white people, black people, so that all that uh, was different and be it in economic life, be it in ordinary social life, was based on this uh, black and white. Once you change this, and that was um, that was a speech by George, uh, Joshua Nkomo in 1979, um, talking about, and um, he was talking about uh, they asked the the um, the um, the the journalist asked him if Mugabe asked you. Um, to take uh, to become the prime minister of the country, would you take it? He said, "No, I'm not going to be just um, to be given like that." You know, and uh, there are a lot of things where he says um, it's part of the research I did. So, guys, just tell me in your words. Anyone wants to be added, let me know so that I can add you. There, you can be added and come in here. Um, you know, share this video with your friends. Share in other groups so that you know what. But when you come in here, let's not. Um, uh, make this a video, a controversial video, so that we become enemies of people. Let's just talk. Who was this Joshua Nkomo? Whereby everybody, wherever we go, they are talking about this man called uh, Joshua Nkomo, Father Zimbabwe. Baba of Zimbabwe. Um, you know, anyone wants to come in, anyone wants to give us a call, let me know if you want to give me a call. Just type in egg, then I'll, 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 I'll add you. But, you know what, guys? I did the research since yesterday about Joshua Nkomo. Why did I bring the topic of Joshua Nkomo? It has been nearly 20 years um, since the, uh, the man died. And um, I remember I put um, an image of a, a, um, 
a political um, opposition in Zimbabwe, you know, not comparing with Joshua Nkomo, but I was just saying, you know, the boy or the man, you know, and uh, the sticks I got from people, you know, those people, some they said, Philip, now you're playing with fire and whatever. I said, no, no, no. Listen, I prefer freedom of expression. And um, I've got freedom of expression and um, it's my right to talk about the Joshua Nkomo. It's my right to talk about it. To, to Melizwe, it's my right to talk about the teacher owner. It's my right to talk about anyone, as long as I'm not abusing anybody. And then um, some came to a point where they said, you cannot uh, compare a blah, blah, blah with Joshua Nkomo. So I want to know what sort of a person that Joshua Nkomo is not. We are not supposed to compare him with other people because me, I mean, I was young when the old man was uh, dominating when he was doing those things he was doing. And um, I am proud that, yes, I saw him even with my, yeah, you know, that time of the, you know, when my age and whatever, I saw him. I remember when I was a young kid, <laughs> I saw Joshua Nkomo. I think it was uh, TM Hyper Woblawai. You know, and uh, my mother said, We are Mazilwana. Then I said, I am Imaz. Then I said, We Joshua Nkomolo. You know, you know, it was some, and apparently he didn't have this thing. We have a lot of security, we have security, we have no skis and whatever, whatever, you know. Apparently, it is, he was a shareholder of um, OK Zimbabwe with the. Um, he, uh, when I read, there was something where you, they are saying he had a um, business partnership with uh, Zopo of Masuingo. You know, they were so close. They had ranches in Muenes and other things. That's why I was reading. But anyway, going back, when I listen to his speech, when he says, we need to stop this thing of Kuroba, we need people of Zimbabwe not to be divided. This thing of tribe must end. And um, that's where I realized that, oh, so those people who are talking about Joshua Nkomo, about, but why did they call him Father Zimbabwe? I want to know so that you know what? I will tell my grandchildren. You know, I want to know why were they calling him Father Zimbabwe? Why Babembiza Ubaba Zimbabwe? Why did they call him uh, jo Joshua Nkomo Father Zimbabwe? Why was he called Father Zimbabwe? That is where I want to know why. And why did Joshua Nkomo agree? The, the, there is another one called, when it comes to opposition in Nkomo, to me, it seemed like he was a, a unifier. He, uh, let me pin this instead of reading it. Um, my question is, after reading about what happened to him, there was a, this way I read that he sneaked uh, from Zimbabwe to Botswana or something like that. He ran away uh, for his life. And um, <laughs> after running away, um, I don't know how far, how far true it is. He says there were rumors that he, um, he ran away wearing a dress. And they are saying there are rumors that he, he ran away from the country for, you know, wearing a dress. And then when I was reading there, there are some other gossips who say, you know, those are the, you know, I mean, maybe those were the things to just make the story interesting. But I would, I would have loved to bring the fathers of Joshua and Kuma, but I don't want to lie to you. I, I don't know them. I don't know them. I would have loved to bring people like Sipo, Sami, Malunga. But I think, you know what, I didn't plan this way well properly to interview them. I would have loved to bring even the, the daughter of uh, Dabengo who lives in Botswana. And um, I would have loved to do that. Um, the people who actually know, you know, the life of uh, Joshua and Kuma. And uh, it, wa it was going to be a nice one. But I know that we've got people who went to fight for Zipra. I know people who went to fight for Zipra uh, under Joshua Nkomo. 
So, I would love to hear from them. Bastien, what you got? You know, Uma fugu fugu. Yes, there was where I, I I read about the you know when they call him Uma fugu fugu. Uh, you know they were talking about Uma fugu fugu. So when I then the, it was referring to his body and whatever, but it, it was in a nice way of saying it. Uba ba Uma fugu fugu. So <coughs> you know how come. Honest, um, let me. It's true, brother Philip. Father Ngomo was doing magic with his stick. How? Don't you get me? Accept my apology, guys. I'm eating because if I don't eat anything when I I get so emotional. So if this man. On this man, Father Zimbabwe, Bam Chaya Ikuin, what happened? What happened? Because when you read about the Lancaster House, you know, there's where it says Nkomo was meant to take over. But you don't come off from Chai side, on Chai Kui, other side, Mkawaba Mkila. And um, if you read about this story, you enjoy it. But I decided to say it together here. Um, but it looks like people are not interested. It looks like people are not interested to talk about Father Zimbabwe. We would love to bring people live talking about Joshua Ngomo's legacy. Um, until where he was actually laid to rest and Looking at where he was laid to rest, and then the guy who brought that thing, he was, he was not laid there. But let's not talk about it there. Let's just talk about him. And um, when I, I read about his party, Zapu, PF Zapu, um, it was not in the only. And uh, that, what, that tells you, by the time, things were so tough by the time. But he, he had people like Joseph Msika, Msika Ban. And um, they were so strong, so strong. He, he didn't believe in any tribe. So, what happened after? That's why I want to know. And then they we had no choice. We had no choice. We had to join the unit accord in 1987. We had to join the unit accord. What was the reason? What was the reason of that unit accord? What was the reason of that unit accord? When I read about it, it says I had to call Bongama Abafana Bam Abafana Hati. Guys, we need to stop this. Who were these boys? We need to stop. So did he join the unit accord to save the lives of people in Yeskatise Kukuraundi? What was the unit accord? But when I read about the unit accord, he is on 87. Talk to me, guys, or else I'll end the broadcast. Who was Joshua Nkom? What good did he bring to the country in Zimbabwe? What about if Joshua Nkom was given the chance 
to be the president of Zimbabwe. What about if Joshua Ngomo was still alive today? If Joshua Ngomo was still alive today, he talks about the land issue so well. We need the land issue, but the land issue must be distributed equally. This thing of Kuroba must stop. This thing of Pasina Ningi must stop. That's what he was saying. Guys, it's a pity that all of you here watching, you don't have the history of Joshua Kong. So I'll do a research and get people who want to come and talk about Joshua Kong. This man is too powerful for me to come in here and just talk on my own. I was expecting people to come and talk about Joshua Nkomo, but it looks like Joshua Nkomo, no one wants to talk about him. I, I hope you will talk about him next time when someone else come. I invited people to come and talk about Joshua Nko. But those people I invited seem to be not bothered. Zet, I'll send you a, a link, but we'll, we'll, we'll finish quick. Let me just send Zet a link. Um, Zet, let me send you a link, sunny boy. And then after that, we call it a day. Because no one wants to talk about Joshua Nkoma. Um, let me see. Who did I send the link to? Zed, I'll send you a link in a minute. Go to the Facebook, Zed. I'll send you a link on Facebook. Anyone wants to come and talk about Joshua Nkomo, go to the Facebook, Zed, on my Facebook. I'm too young, just wanted to listen other others talk so that I can learn. Yeah, Tatel, I know. I know him for now. Zed, go to your Facebook. Go to the Facebook, Zed, and take the link and come in. We talk about Joshua Nkomo. Z. Go to the Facebook. I've sent the link on my page. We talk about the life of Joshua Nkomo. And then we won't be staying here long, Z. I've sent you a link. Come in there. I wanted people to talk about Joshua Nkomo, but it looks like not a lot of people want to come and talk about. Right, let me bring that. The only guy who wants to come in, my boy Zet. So, I'm going to find out what I'm going to do. I'm going to find out what is it? Man, I'm to Is it? Yeah, but is it? It's a, it's a pity. Let me, let me, let me just yes. say this to you, Zet. Let yes. me tell you something, Zet. Yes. Sorry, Zet. Don't get, uh, don't get me wrong. No, it's okay. My brothers and sisters are a disgrace. Yeah. You know what? My brothers yeah. and sisters are in disgrace and cowards. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know what? We talk about someone they talk so high. Today is 20 years when George Ongomo died. Yes. There was no platform where they spoke about Joshua Ongomo today. I might be wrong. When I did. Yes, I saw you. I saw you. Yes. 
But yeah. what I'm saying is, then mm-hmm. instead of coming and talking about, you know what, immemorial or whatever of your someone you loved, your father, whoever, then you know, tell what, pathetic. Anyway, leave them. Yeah. Forget, yeah. I don't talk to you. What? That, tell us, young man. Yo, my Joshua Nkom, who was Joshua Nkom? He was an ordinary Zimbabwe. He was an ordinary Zimbabwe. An ordinary Zimbabwe and nothing special about him at all. Ungati, anything that made him special is after the fact. He was an ordinary Zimbabwe, not different from your father, not different from your ma- from my mother, not different from anyone of his generation at that time. Okay. What made him, or what we then think is different, is because a group of people that felt to uh, the nothing, that felt that they had to turn around and 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 request something from the regime that was ruling them at that time decided that every single time when they gathered, he found himself as being the one beca- that becomes the voice or the spearhead. Yeah? Mm. Becomes the channel that speaks. That's the only thing that uh, then we can say his specialness started. Right? Mm-hmm. But anything else, he was an ordinary Zimbabwean that felt the need that his people cannot live in the state that they are in. Mm. That is what he was. Nothing special, madam. There is nothing that was special from your father, from your mother, from my father, from my mother. An ordinary Zimbabwean. Doing what you are doing now, talking about the Zimbabwean problems. Mm. And gathered people until the talking became action. And still talked. Mm. To show you how much of a Zimbabwean he was, Manume, he sacrificed his own political party. No other political party in the history of Africa has done that. No, no other. No other. So, I think I put city. There is no one in the history of the world that has sacrificed their own political career, their own political party, to be Political. eaten up by another political party. Mm. Mm. To show you that it's never been about politics. Mm. Never been about politics. It, it was about the freedom of, of the people. Not only the freedom of, of Zimbabweans, but it, not only the freedom of the black Zimbabweans, the freedom of even the white Zimbabweans. Aren't you? From mm. something that they were doing, that they did not know that they were damaging other people, he was freeing them as well. From their own, who can go up? The only person, Malume, that turned around. You won't find any other political party before the one that they they. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Malume. Z, Z. Abola ulam tangu phone la. Oti, I think about the young generation I must unko mobeza oba bebe bala ama ema puwin. How old are Z? Baya kubuza Z. Eh? Eh? Baya kubuza. Baya kubuza. Ulam buza la po owa kula pa. Look at that. Hmm. Read that in that thing for you. Yeah. Umbali le madam. Kutokwana um I think it put it a young generation I must unko mobezo or babala of Emma Puin. How old is it? Young generation I must unko. That's what they say. I mean everyone has got a freedom of expression proper, but we are assuming what you want to mean. Bona be mas ba mazera. No, 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 Zet. We I I no 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 it's a question, it's a question, it's a question that I'm posing, right? Listen, remember, 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 a lot of people, especially about the Zipra Laba, they used to attend rallies, is it? And I let them 
I'm listening. They used to attend rallies, so they probably know much better about about Joshua Nkomo than me and you. Yes, madam. Yes, they might know better than, but you you know you are a youth years up. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. But me, I want to know why is he called Father Zimbabwe? They do not follow his footsteps. So why is he called Father Zimbabwe? Because he gathered, he behaved like a father to the Zimbabweans. Why are separate? I went on a back. I went on a back being the ones that followed him. He did not separate, he did not love one a, a group of people more than the other. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Therefore, what are the qualities of a father? A father turns around the Malume and sacrifices himself for the people. Yes. A father turns around the Pans and There is nothing about to Babu because of his stature. There is nothing. There was no code in the Baba even as a visit of others about the race to it. Who was called our society, Peramaru? Who was his enzo? For him, for him, we lose a baby, the little Baba, yes, enzo Zaki. They could have chosen who to Madam Zimbabwe. But Madume, who comes a bit smaller than Ubaba. Ubaba, because he could turn around and stand for his. He was there, Ubakuza, equally. At one point, Madume, he party like it was the biggest political party in Zimbabwe ever. So why did he the, Then why did he win the, the, the president? Politics is a funny game. The politics is a very funny game. The politics yeah, a a, game. happens to a... Yeah, yeah, it's a funny game, party. So why yeah. did Mugabe win the election if his party was big in Zimbabwe? The way, because Mugabe did, the way, Mugabe, Mugabe did the way, something the, very bad. The way, the way people talk about Joshua Nkomo, my mother, the way my relative, the, the, every Zimbabwe, everybody, the way they talk about the, the, the Mashona, the Matebele, the Manika, every paper, everybody. So why did Joshua Nkomo not win an election, that election in Zimbabwe? Why? Because Zanu turned around and used its political wing as a, as a campaign tool. Zanu Yankinila, Yankinila, Abantu Madume from Emashonal in Desi Abamba, Emateril in the south, from north to south, from west to east. In Genela Bantu, Ichaya Abantu, Ifosa Abantu to be voted. Zapu's headquarters was in Yama offices, Zapu, I say, Arari. Now, Bale Lamina, Abatara, Katesa, I'll look at the Kulumu, they will never vote for anything else. Into Ipatabat and Louis Votera Yona, Yizapo, Emma Shonaland, you'll be shocked. Yeah, I read you to travel a while, why shall I? Hey, 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 Mm -hmm. Uncomo understood one thing. He understood how uh, 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 the Rhodesian regime separated people. He understood that. He was a, 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 a product of pan Africanism. Right? Mm -hmm. Meaning, I'm through every single time. Right? Mhm. Mm Nlanda banga bafana ngithi laba bakuhlukume uba bakhona yakuhlukumeza uthi wena ngofanele ukhambe yezingadi wena ufanele ngo yezingadi. Right? Mhm. Mm I separate them from 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 young. 
Ukomo understood that to bring a, a, a country together, you have to turn around and, and, and solve my problems on Alana. I'm not going to run Alana was an easy. Gube Gube one in labor, Eddie Sova in Joy One. And now we have to solve in Lady. We have to understand what the problem is like in a tribe, tribal problem. Mm -hmm. He turned around Malume and, 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 and stopped his own party from referring to each other as tribes. Mm -hmm. You could not. You could not point You could not do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why Malume? Because he understands to build something. We have to understand each other. I mean, allowing Malume Philip is fanana. There is no tribes. There is no Shona tribe. There is no Devele tribe. There are groupings of people. But if I can ask you yourself. Yes. I know that you are a junior of Zapu, you yourself. I am not a junior, madam. Okay. You are a Zapu anyway. You are a Zapu yourself. No. No. I am the vice, I am the vice chair of Zapu Europe. Yes, you are the vice chair of Zap Europe. But what I'm I am not a dream. You, what I'm trying, <laughs> yes. what I'm trying to ask you is, I'm a parent Ukula. What were they telling you about Joshua Nkomo? That's what I want to ask you when you are growing up. Mina, I'll, I'll, I'll answer you this way. Yeah, Obaba comes from a family of over seventy uh, uh, sisters and brothers. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every single one. Nanda bo put the babu zapun, the babu mtalo, mamu mtala, o babu o anti. The whole family is zapu blood. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm what my parents told me when I was growing up, Madume, is a very simple fact. Obama was in. The push, huh? Mm -hmm. Abamazi yo yes, ibizo tongzet. Now puma a e, e, plum tree. You understand that name, huh? Told me one simple fact: the journey is not yet finished. If it is not yet here, we had to sacrifice ourselves. We we had to turn around and stop it so that you can survive and grow, and grow and continue the fight. Because the fight is not yet finished. Mm -hmm. Izapu is a party that is a liberation party. It is not a political party. Right? Mm -hmm. If Izapu was a political party, Malume, he would have turned around and did what Zanu did. Right? If mm -hmm. Zapu was a political party, he would have turned around when he could started. He would have turned around and, and keep a Aba Amasochabo, Icon, a Pandwellis, Wangin, the Pagati, Ulwe, Kufiwe, Itatilizwe. It is not a political party. It does not move on political basis. It moves on liberation basis. If you are liberated, therefore, I will let my party die. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why they were able to turn around and sacrifice their own ideologies, their own political party. There is no one today that can sacrifice their own political party. Lamusha. Mm -hmm. And let his political party die. Zapu did that. And they did not do it with, with, with happiness. They did, they did it with a heavy heart, but it was a price to pay because they understood that anything that frees people, you have to pay the price. Mm -hmm. they were not stupid. Before Izapu turned around and joined Unity Accord, they turned around and held a congress. Mm -hmm. A simple question was based on that congress. A simple question. Matuda says, figure in the engine. Abantu Laba, what was I get? Lugula Labantu, sing a hammer say to Ilok Izan. Abafun would join. Asampin, Abana for new with Jaina, I will a problem, Puman. A lot turned around and did not go them down. I'm tired, did not turn around and put them and see them as a bad people. He understood. Ungelan and Sisi, your madam, faith. And they did that. 
a sacrifice, the last sacrifice that Zappu did, on top of turning around and freeing people, the last sacrifice it was asked for, it did it. But was it a good right? idea for, for Joshua Nkomo to join to 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 join hands with Zanapia? A very good idea. Was it a good idea? Yes. What 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 good was it? It saved the people's lives. How did it save people's lives? Bulawayo, a material land was under a food embargo. In the midst of or, or in the midst of of, or, of a drought, a foot in back of my lumen, we have one of my sanctions. Tanjan, but I was and a material was under sanctions. You are saying it was you, Gabi was not feeding people of material and food, yes. But I was under was, was under sanctions, there was no food coming in. It was it was during a, a drought. On top of that, there were people being killed. So you had such as killing people, you had people starving, yeah, you had a drought, you had no water. Right? This is the first time when the UN turned around and got into a, a material and started feeding people. This is what no one tell, talks about. Now we are placed Malume to a point which Abantu Nabaka was sad. We now was a Kijimisan, a political party who was a Kijimisan as a parent. As a parent, you know, in Malume. I'll make my children eat. He did that. He took the sacrifice for him to be blamed. Because at the end of the day, you could not watch your own kids die for your political ideology. Right? Mm -hmm. I just be zero. We could not what you talk about your father's Zimbabwe. We have only seen those other ones come back and look one, look one, look one. He was a great man, not by him, by himself, even the ones underneath him. When he turned around and came in Malume, the, the ones, the Alabe said, to me, or to me, or look out, he had to turn around and be told to, to come in to, 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 to thing, to Zanu, Bella Foni, but you know, Baba, and they listened and, and followed. Mm. And followed, why? Because they will explain the simple fact. If you turn around and retaliate, more people will die. As I said, the party lay who did not do that. War was not something we chose in Malume. War was a situational thing that came about. Aren't you? Mm. That came about from a situation, a reaction, a, 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 a Rhodesian government. That was not formed to turn around and go to war. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it mean which when a very Uto Ulala, Uchelabantu, when a pant, what in any mutton gelabs and Bulan? But because so figure a situation with the Utahisane, the sailor, when a look and young, the Twelin, the Twelin, we are what will happen to an apparat. Now we are thinking, I'm a lumen to defend your kids. But I was so good to put in, not so petalis, the sailor, and a lady, and Mundos and Gelaponapana, a wooer as a woozer, when I was trying to whoop it. I'll shine in my doom. Into your father's pants, aren't you? Because it's not you. Uncle did the same and took him to your father's pants. As he said, and then some gain, then. Now, why would you find the seven and then some gain? If you mm -hmm. want a one party state, let it be a one party state, but feed people. If you're going to do exactly what you I wanted to do, when I'm going to ACA at the sea, I would want to be I want to be the future. If you are willing to do that, I'm willing to turn around and fucking to your pants. I'm willing to turn around and fucking up your pants. Let's do that. No one to feel into my funai. Zappa was born Malume from the needs of the people. Zappa was born from the needs of the people, Malume. Funun is a good It was not born just for a fan. It was not born for they want to turn around and rule Zimbabwe. No. The needs of the people is what born Zappa. Aren't you? Mm-hmm. 
abantu kuhlukumezwa kwabantu yibaba khaleli zapho yibaba yenza bayakhi zapho bona abantu unkomo did not just come out and create zapho and go around campaigning for abantu bebe bezo join zapho mm. have you ever seen a campaign zapho malum mm. no one has ever seen it no one has ever seen me come to Uncle Moten around the thing. Say, I get structured up. Say, I'm setting up. People were there already. Ask yourself why. Why? Why? People were there. Why, Madam? Because I'm to very much a corner. I'm a party. I say, value or have value or have value. I'm a party. They closed about eight parties. Zap is just a version of a, of a, of a party that were closed before. At one point it was closed as well. It was called a, a, a caretaker party. It was closed. Then as a banned completely in Zimbabwe politics. It was banned. At one, yes, it was banned. At one point, Malume, the leadership was taken and placed in prison, thinking that they've turned around and buried Zapo, but not knowing what Zapo. They've turned around and only buried seats, Malume. The moment you bury seats, we are tapping in tiny roots for the pans. Do you know what happened when we're tapping tiny roots for the pans? It grows. Mm. I'm not putting tiny roots in a cool, Malume, for the pans. The language. When I'm a paisa, but that's about to be it. It grew. And they could not understand why. Until they turned around and, and released them. I want to learn but to show you that it was more than one person, it, the party moved on while the leadership was in prison. Party the moved of, on. The, the likes of Tuviso Tavengo, the likes of uh, Urukaut Masugu, the likes of. Yes, Madumi. Yes, my Kuluma, what Lavana? Lavana, Ivo, our Fanabango. Huh? Makuma, look up Masugu, Madumi, to come on to Ganai. 32 years old. 32. Kadesu 32, 32 years old when you don't man. Chief of staff, madam. I'm a so chanka in Bona. I've never done a dollar by being Baba Missalud. How old was he when he passed away? I think he was 34 when he passed away, if I'm not mistaken. I will, I will, I will get corrected by Abandu Abawazi, but he was in his 30s. A very no, young. No, no, I mean, I mean, we, no, no, no. His children. I mean, we, they, we, they, 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 I'm very close with them, but I, I was just asking. We him. lost the Malume. We lost a young man, a brilliant young man, and a lot of young people we lost. Huh? Let me tell you one thing that is apotite. I want to bang a yazi. Is apotite a kailo and jenge 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 terrorist outfit? Huh? Malume. People that will never tell you. Is up with an if. I can see you there. Yeah, I can Sorry. see you. I can see Is you. Is up with an Air Force. Does it make sense, Maru? No. no, no, no. Air Force. Is up with a Milan I've got up with the army. Can't you? I'm a big, 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 big tank regiment. Is up tank regiment. Maluma on game with tank regiment to Yama tank. We have one. I will gain the Google Air Force, yes, up on Yama from a chin. Mm-hmm. Is that Maluma is the first liberation front with with the female army? Those are the man pictures that are born upon Abam Oma Malavana be 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 chai am 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 kite our army be match. Is that my lumi? Yes. He had everything. He had he had a government while he was not even in government. Nineteen seventy seven, nineteen seventy six to nineteen seventy seven. It was starting to turn around and take Abam to my lumi. Our administration. To turn around and administer a, a country when the Ama Ama Kiwa and Nigamantaba Nyama Uzbos. I'm a mess. Do you understand? I'm a mess of pants. The lapa Aba Ning is Chaser Labo, Mama Bonalawa, I was a big cool. Who's going to go to Abuya in England about 1960 something? Zap. A Cuba, Ula Bando, Ula Bando, Abekaya, Maduro Cuba, Omaraka, Bonanga, I want to go to. 
1960 something malume khamba bese afundira ukuthi uhotela awunye one thing i love is ukuthi mini politics malume ngiyazi Mhm. Mm but in case the matter of the politics. Now we are politics to a point to allow Yamanga Luti. What? Gukabanjan. Yay fundiso, Madume. Oh, Rana, it can't to Gabu fundiso. And Gabu fundiso to a point to Luti. Oh, a Kailum to Yama, Jom to Yama. Oh, a Kailum to Yama, Shon and Debe, who agrees to go. Right, Z, 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 as we are the Wutu Uncle. Yebo. Let's go back to Josh Wanko. Yes. When you was with you, once you talk about Zapu Z, you become is something else. <laughs> Josh Wankomo is Zapu. Zapu is Josh Wanko. Right. But my question yes. about Josh Wankomo is, why didn't Josh Wankomo, um, you know, why is it Josh Wankomo, you are not even allowed by some people to you know, to compare him, I mean, I I put an 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 image of another political uh, political elite in Zimbabwe and compared him with Joshua Nkomo. I got some sticks about that. I was one of those that gave you. I know sticks. that. I know that. Yes. Why? What's so special about him? Why? 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 I, you know what? Yes. You, if someone says to you, hey, Zeti, the way you, you play football, you remind me of Moses Chunga. You feel proud. Yeah? Yes. But Moses Chunga does not feel proud. Yeah, but he, so why are you assuming that Joshua Nkomo doesn't feel proud that me, I, when I put the what, 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 So why, why no, don't you, you followers of Joshua Nkomo don't want us to say things like that? So you tell no, no, me no, 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 why no. you are one of them. Why did Oh, someone yes. someone actually say don't compare Joshua Nkomo with a donkey, which I nearly nearly no 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 you can't say that you can't say that that is a is a you have a What do you think you are saying, Maluma? I can't say one. No, no, you, you, the person the person cannot say you can't compare Joshua Nkomo with a donkey. I because I'm pumping this away. In terms of you, you correct an answer. Yeah. Now, in terms of you, you correct. For anyone to be compared to the Joshua Nkomo, much. Yeah. You have to be able to have moved on similar footsteps. Same okay. as a Nigerian into a corner, my woman. Niti, me na ngasin compare we na lobaba ako, right? Yeah. Nchela abantu abelen mazi ubaba ako, right? Bewa zilawe isenzo zako. Bewa isenzo zako is not the same with ubaba ako. Yes, you are your father's son, but you are finally lom tala lo, lom tala lo was great. Unless you're going to do the same sacrifice, the same concentration. I can hear you, Zed. Don't worry, you are there. You are there. You are there. You are there, sorry, Zed. Sorry, uh, 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 my comrade. Yeah, got it. Yes. Because you know what? Um, sorry, Zed is just going. I just want to know why, why Ujoshua Nkomo is not. People are not allowed to compare Ubaba Ujoshua Nkomo, Ulobaba Ujoshua Nkomo. I want to know why. And then, you know, guys, every research I did about Joshua Nkomo, beautiful. But after Joshua Nkomo, after, after Joshua Nkomo um, joined the ZANU-PF, you know, is Baba Zimbabwe. Why didn't you control Umkabe since, you know what? There are so many things I always ask a question, which is, but Umkomo, when I read about him, he didn't tolerate it, but Mugabe continued. He abused, he continued. Uh, it about to disappear, but Umkomo, why corner is a vice president? Why didn't you control him as a father of Zimbabwe? Sorry, guys. We are learning here. Why did you control Umkabi? Umkabi did bad things. Why didn't Uchochuanko Mamkuz with Umkabi with his lovely language? 
Loko also went to siko. Why didn't you do that? Joshua Ngomo. They call him Father Zimbabwe. I enjoy when I read everything. I enjoy listening to his speeches. But what happened? So did he have a weakness as well, Ubabu Joshua Ngomo? Why Why did they call him Ubaba or Zimbabwe? Why did he allow him to need a fault? Why did Joshua Nkomo allow unit accord to those people who were there by the time? Why did he allow a unit accord? I want to know that. Joshua Nkomo died before the uh, Kukurawondi issue was um, addressed. He went to work with the Umkabe. Did he talk to Mugabe and say, let's address this issue and apologize to those people who disappeared, who died? It's a pity that you know what? Um, it's a very, very uh, sad story. It's a sad story, you know. Joshua Nkomo, um, after, he, uh, after he has died, when the wife died to Mama Umafuyane, I have never heard if any ruling city, you know what? If Bethy Dega Joshua Nkomo today to remember him and go and see the family, do they still do it? We saw Ama Ori Degam Kabi, Petty Degam Kabi, 21 February. But you got your own Zai Sibone, but your father Zimbabwe. Those are the things I want to know. But it, every political party in Zimbabwe talks about to Joshua Nkomo. But in recognition, Yaki, when he was still alive, I never saw the recognition of Joshua Nkomo. I'm sorry, I never saw it. Today I saw the, the president sending a fantastic message talking about, you know what, uh, father, father, father Zimbabwe. And they said, you know what, it touched me a lot. Then I saw another one from Nelson Tamisa, it touched me a lot. But why do you become a hero when you are dead? And Afawanak. Joshua Ngomo left the kids. He has got grandchildren. But I've never heard I have never heard I have never heard Yes, that one I know my brother was there in Zambia, was one of the commander, and our neighbor was Air Force pilot when coming back home in 1980. Mm. So my question is, if Joshua Nkomo was Father Zimbabwe, Esa Pila, were, you, were they still calling him Father Zimbabwe? Well, but after the death of Joshua Nkomo, I mean, people started saying, you know what, 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 but Ulabantuana, Ulabazugul, are they, is the government recognizing Father Zimbabwe, the guy who brought independence in Zimbabwe? Because if Joshua Nkomo had refused to join up with the, his, uh, Mugabe, a lot of people are going to die. People didn't die only in Matepele and only. Bapelabant, immigrants, Bapelabant. But Nkomo said, no, 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 let's sit down and talk. Became a hero. Same as Nelson Mandela when he came out of jail in 1994. I might, my comparison might be different. Mandela is a hero. Joshua Nkomo is a hero. But do we recognize Ubu hero back? I'm a young boy who wants to know. Joshua Nkomo, why am I doing that? Because he, I have seen people tell Dalangomo, 
Mjaran komo anga ka, mjaran wia anga ka, mjaran komo, mjaran komo. Saka tiyo zewu di mjaran komo amno kara mshita ora di mjaran komo, mjaran komo, mjaran komo. Ayo kona ngo tiyo pa social media wo di mjaran komo. Tiyo zei wo di mjaran komo. Anga rimu no kaita sei go isuba na ti zibi wo to zuti zaba na belu. Wo di mjaran komo anga rimu no kaita sei. Ah um jaran komo, wa yenga yens. Ladies and gentlemen. Uti, we saw, we, we saw his vision. He was miles ahead of Zimbabwe politics. He had a vision with the likes of Nelson Mandela, a man who didn't see race or tribe in Zimbabwe. Yes, we, I played an audio of Joshua Ngoma talking about that in Jabu. But my question is, my question is, what happened? What happened? Because there was a, a, a when they left in you know, Lancaster, Lancaster, who was meant to be Uber, to be Uber, the president of Zimbabwe. But Wafika Wachinja, what happened there? That's why I want to know what happened. Come on, guys. I've got 10 minutes to finish this program. I'll go back to the question. For those boys, are they still getting um, who brought that independence in Zimbabwe? Ama Zipra, are they still getting a entitlement to bring the country back? Who in penance? I don't know. What is your number? Um, Jabudi number is your years. Let me write a number for you, in Jabudi. Uh, one second. Um, let me give you the number, Jabulu. Right, Jabulu, put the number eight pounds. Okay. Uh, one second. Let me I cannot I cannot write it. I'll give you the number. Nancy number 079. Bala Pans in Jabulo 079 04849. 077. 079-04-98-0877. Someone says that one is a long story. <laughs> How can it be a long story? I want to hear the long story. I love long stories. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marcelo. I went up on one bed. I want to hear the long stories. Because people are so good on talking on social media and say, ah, I'm Jaran Komanga Kaipa. Because did Joshua Nkomo let down his people from uh, Amazipra by accepting? He united us. We grew up Tina, you would have peace in Zimbabwe. There is peace today. I mean, when I grew up, there was a bit of peace. So he brought that. But where his people ever have been, been happy? Ah, man, the lapa say lapa get saying his tail. The same forget we na ngwa abo civic. On do me, do me. Unjabulu. Oh, unjabulu. What is unjabulu? Unjabulu. Um, asleri akulula. I won't tell you that you are my generation, but your parents or whoever they told you more. Who who was Joshua Nkomo? Why are you going to answer? Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say about that, but I wouldn't say about that. Yeah. And lucky enough, I was lucky. I was in Nepal, and we were doing it, and then. We were close to the family of Norman Mapena, the whole West, when I know you have no Norman Mapena. Yeah. So, is that 
Okay. Agustele. Agustele. Today we are talking, we are not talking about Zap. We are talking about Joshua Nkomo himself. Why are you talking about Joshua Nkomo? What sort of a man was he? According to his, according to his, according to his, he was a man or a very strong man. Yes. He was a man who wanted to liberate in Israel. He didn't want to divide Avanto. He wanted to empower Avanto, not according to race, tribe, or the agenda. He wanted to be an inclusive leader. He was so focused. In Israel, he knew what he wanted. Because when they went to war, they were not only fighting for Amarai, Bukhamba, Etau. They were fighting for Iland. Logutibabi, Lama, Lama, freedoms. In politics, freedom. In social settings, freedom. In economic uh, uh, in sector, freedom. In culture, to do their own culture. Work. Not only on the side of the river, but in any other province of Zimbabwe. So he wanted a free and fair democratic state. And then what happened? Well, Avala, 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 it's looking more complicated. What we call from Zambia to Mozambique, what we call a struggle within a struggle. A struggle within a struggle is utility between NMA1. Like what is happening now in Zimbabwe? Yes, because that court, there is a within a struggle that kind of side and appear, whereby they were eliminating each other for in the power party. I think according to information, yes, is Utongokara was not going to be the leader of it. Because Utongokara, Dabo, Dabe, Dabo, Masu, Dabane, Abe, Zipa, Dabane, Abe, Zapu, Dabane, Abe, Zanda, they wanted to go in the Zimbabwe very patriotic front. Of which we took Europe as a government, because we are the divided rule. What is it that we are going to see that? So he saw. I think he was a little bit clever in all the population. He had to have a permission of population that was in the middle of the month of the day. He took advantage and used it against the Congo. Of which he would, since then, his baby has never tested his freedom. Mm. Mm. So, my question, another question is, um, was it a good thing for Joshua Nkomo to join the hands with the unit accord? Because really, I was, I was young by then. It, it was up to him, because the situation in my young at the end. But Nkomo, one thing you need, you need to put in your, in your cousin, in your mind, he was a nation builder. Okay. He didn't do go. I think he was like sort of a They didn't go to fight with him. I know. I'm a nation builder. No one. No one. Mm. There was nothing wrong if they really meant to even even it accord. But there is the bomb case. They still have progressive. No one. And he was even clear. You can see his video clips. He wanted to with Amma Police and Amma Social and Amma say, Oh, very apolitical. Mm -hmm. He say that. He say that. Yes, I saw oh, that. Oh, the guy knew mm -hmm. when I. Uti. Uti. What is government? What is government? How do you govern? Everyone. Mm. What is on that? They change those uh, departments, the e army, the e e police. He said, oh, into, he, into a local, a party entity. But well, I tell you, we're not going to lie to each other. It's unfair for the state. Oh, man, it's unfair for the state. It's unfair for the army. 
Ask you my last question. If I can ask you my last question, um, let's just say Joshua Nkomo had a chance of becoming the president of Zimbabwe. I mean, we are just assuming. What sort of a country do you think Zimbabwe will be? Do you regret at your age when Uti Joshua Nkomo died before you were? I mean, you, I mean, you were still growing up. Do you wish Uti gonna you 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 wish you were there by that time? I don't regret. I'm only ashamed of our our locusi, our brothers and those who are in the struggle, especially at our age. People who are fighting for power instead of fighting for the people. That one. People who are betrayed, people at a a at a location at a crucial time. Over into a thirty leg. Am I two books? They are there for us to lay. They are not there for us to repeat it. Maybe not even the same mistakes, waste mistakes. These two books are there for us to lay and do better. Mm. That's why sometimes when I go on my own platform, I hear one to the city shown and available. I found it strange. What way you get it? That thing was created by Robert Mugabe and Pierre. And now for now, Google looks at you can't go and repeat the same thing with the Amashumi was what? You need to be better, be inclusive. Mm. Mm. This is where I found it strange with the Amashumi politicians, especially our Zimbabwe, they don't play. If you learn to do better than other ones today, or to do the same, than to hit below the belt, we always. Bye. In the, in the yeah, well. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. That is my brother, Ojex. Fellow lawyers in politics over Malka, my very, very good young boy. Crazy, thank you so much. I don't want to stay here so long. I don't want to stay here so long. I just wanted us to enjoy and talk about Ubaba Ucho Shuan Komo. Um, this video, you can put your comments as much as you can. Um, the topic is already there. Just put your comments, share the video, and share. And then we'll be reading the comments. Uh, my comments they can be there until I don't know. So listen, Ubana, Uba Abu Joshua Nkomo, why you want to join? And uh, do you actually wish you would have been allowed to work for the next guy Joshua Nkomo corner? And uh, you know what? And uh, listen, Uba, some people probably they are afraid to come in. Just write your comments. We uh, appreciate your comments. Thank you so much, guys. My name is Philip Sibanda, the Air Marshal Commander. I've got so much respect for you. Right, coming up uh, on Monday. On Monday, on the 6th of July, we are launching a radio station for Africa. We are launching a new radio station with uh, 54 presenters from Africa. This radio station involves um, all African countries. So please, if you want to be part of the, if you be part of, want to be part of the team, let us know so that we can try. We are trying to get, um, you know, Youngsters in different parts, binga, a uh, plum tree, you know, some you are trying to eat you to, to to get some some youngsters so that you know what, you know, new generation. We want to get people from Rua, people from so if you want to be part of our team, get in touch with me, Philip Sibanda, or Mkoma Eric Knight, 
We are launching the radio on Monday. We'll be broadcasting probably on, on Facebook on Monday all day. So please, please, please come in, come in and come in and uh, we enjoy together. Today, this was a topic about our father, Ubaba Ochoa Nkomo, the late and the great uh, father, Zimbabwe Joshua Nkomo. We just wanted to hear Ubaba Ochoa Nkomo. I want to take the opportunity to inject all those at Ababiba Komalaban and the others who call Abafagama comments, about the lovely comments. But the video is there. Share the video with your friends in all platforms so that we can read the comments. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. And my other thing is, if anyone was you with Ipu Gulaba Uba Ochoan Komo, Litola Galangapi, Karajis Vapatinka wana Pura Baba Joshuan Komo, let us know. Um, please, Funuti Lati City Teng, Sidiba Lega, the singer is always a research. So that if you know where we can buy the book for Joshuan Komo, let us know. We also want to buy the book. Probably we can do a live broadcast reading about the book all day, reading about the book of every, every certain day. We read up to certain pages. So that you know, people can know about the history of Ubaba Utojuankoma. You know, today is Yukuru Nyaribonga Kulu, Ma Zitarangu knows a Philip Simanda, Ika Madame Tong Philip Simanda. Let's meet again uh, on the other program. Probably I'll meet you on Monday when we do a launch of our radio station, Radio Africa Panorama, Radio 54 African Panorama. Let's meet on Monday. Have a good night. I love you so much. From the voice of the air marshal commander Mosi Bati as Musa Bata Pauro. This one because I think as Good night. I love you. Bye bye.